Hello everybody, welcome back. And I bet you could see that I did kind of make it look a little bit nicer in here. And I upgraded the pulverizers. I don't know why, I just decided I wanted more pulverizers. So what I got going here is I got five on gravel. I have one turned off and I have one sand turned off. Like these are just turned off plain and simply, they're not running. Because I found out that they're keeping up just fine. Like my um, dust activator is doing a really good job at just keeping up. I don't have excess dust. Uh, where's my dust barrel? Like I don't have any excess dust, so I think I kind of do want to turn the other one on. And I do have a lot of sand piling up, so yeah, maybe I'll turn it on. Maybe I'll do it now. We'll see how it goes. Just turn that one on. Oh, I did add a clay barrel, and this was rather simple to add. I just put a white list with dust on an activator onto a barrel, and I turn it on low, and it just pops up a lot of clay. A lot of clay. Like, that's why I had this thing on high, because it makes too much clay. So I'm just going to turn that back onto high. I'll turn it on when I feel like I need clay. But we've already got a stack of clay, so... Yeah, I really don't feel like I need more clay at this point. Actually, I do. I take that back. So I want to make some grout today. So let's turn you on and let you produce clay. So we're going to be making another smeltery. And I think one is enough to have my ores being smelted full time. You can see my setup for having this guy going full time. And that leaves me with aluminum, nickel, tin, and gold. And those guys should not form an alloy. So I can have both smelteries going full time with the same setup. Just pumping into the controller. Auto pumping out the back into basins. And I think I'm going to put the second smeltery just straight directly under it. Right here. I already took out the floor a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to build another one right under it. And we're going to duplicate the setup. And we're going to steal some of those basins off the back of my current one that we don't need. And yeah, we'll just duplicate it. Oh, I guess I should uh, go check on all the crap we've been accumulating. A lot of crap, might I add. We have... These are all full up to somewhere around here. My eighth chest is starting to fill up with junk, too. Should be interesting to see what kind of stuff we get. There's a lot of quartz. Jeez. So much quartz off of soul sand. I don't really see anything new. that I haven't seen already. And I'm not really seeing much new stuff. Like I was hoping to get some cool rare drops. Blood sapling. Ooh. Grows on the ceiling. Oh, I know what those are. I've seen those in uh, Natura's Nether. Those are really neat trees. Exotic seed. What is that? I don't even know what that is. There's no usage on it. We should plant it and find out. Stingberry bush. We've gotten those before, too. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much new. All the same. All the same. Okay, so... Like I said, I want to build a second smeltery. And I also want to upgrade these item duct lines in here. Now that I have... Well, let's go back downstairs. Now that I have a lot of glowstone, at least I think I do, one really nice way to filter is if you, um, what is it? I think you double click on the bar, yep, yeah, and it goes to yellow. And that will only show things with glow in the name. So if we type glowstone, only glowstone will show up. Which is really nice for trying to find specific things like glowstone and a chest full of garbage. Yeah, we have a decent amount of glowstone. Nice. So I do want to up upgrade my item ducts in this room to have impulse item ducts, just so they're faster. Impulse item duct. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go with the opaque ones because I don't need to see everything flowing. I might do a mixture, like do some of each. Clear ones needs hardened glass and opaque, I guess. I just fill up regular item ducts with glowstone to get the impulse. Yeah, I suppose so. And then you get to pick what you want. Opaque ones are lead, and clear ones are done with hardened glass or a few squirts, whatever you pick. So I think I gotta craft up some of these, and let's find out what the ratio is uh, for glowstone. I'm pretty sure one is 100, just like uh, redstone, but let's find out. How much do you give me for one? 250. Ooh, that's interesting. So we don't have to use so much. But I am gonna want around a stack of it, so we'll just get that smelted up. And I think I'll just pull the item ducts out of this room, because i got to relay them all anyways with the impulse ones. So I think I'll strip these item ducts. I'll be back. Alright, and I guess I'll show you. This is the way you do the other item, uh, just like the energy conduits. You just smelt your glowstone, put it in the fluid transposer, throw in your item ducts, and we're getting impulse item ducts. What these are, they're just super fast item ducts. If you've ever used gold transport pipes from Buildcraft, it's about the same speed as a gold transport pipe. About the same speed. Alright, we'll come back again really quick just to show how you make them opaque, which is take your item ducts, lay them out, and then lead I think it is. Lead, perfect. We're gonna get a stack of those in opaque and a stack of clear. The reason why I did that is just, there's not really a reason at all, just to have some of each. Uh, I might want to see like the barrels of putting items just for the fun of it, and the rest of it I'll have with the opaque ducts, just because, I think I've covered this before, but when you have multiple entities running through a pipe, you do render them all and it causes a little bit of lag. So it's time for me to rip up these pipings, and I'll see you shortly. I'm going to make a bit of a mess in here. Okay, I'm back, and everything is now set up with the impulse item ducts. I did leave a couple uh, clear sections, like this is clear to those pulverizers, and I got some bouncing around there. They probably hit the hoppers. Got some clear ones back here, so we can kind of see those flow through. But everything I hid inside the walls, I just went with the opaque versions. No reason to render it. And I think everything's all... S whoops. Wait, we do need that connected. Okay. Uh, and I think everything is all set up, so this line's all connected. I did have to put this arch in it, which kind of bugs me, but... Because uh, the barrels, the items pop out and they kind of get caught on top of the pipe, because the hopper's right there. Maybe if I move the hopper out one... Actually, I might try that right now. Because it bugs me, I have to have that arch. Let's see what happens if I put the hopper... Right here. I kind of want to get rid of that arch, so let's see what happens. If it gets plugged up, then we have to move the, we have to put the arch back. And my impulse item duct. Perfect. I don't know if the clay is going to be too far away. Here, let's give it a shot. Put you on low. Clay's getting pulled in. What if I put you guys on low? Let's see, is anything getting caught? See how much faster they shoot through the pipes, right? Yeah. That's nice. Doesn't look like anything's getting caught. Let's wait for a couple more pieces of soul sand. Nope, not really getting caught. I'm fine with that. And you're back to high. Okay, I have to turn all these machines on and we'll see this running in full blur. Okay, so everything's running again. Let's see how the item flow looks now. Oh, we have the impulse. Oh, I forgot to turn on the barrel output. That's a problem. There we go. Everything's flowing. Let's go check out these pipes. That's a little bit quicker. I'd say it's worth it. I missed one right here, though.
Impulse. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit quicker. I mean, stuff is shooting around much faster than before. It's definitely better than the lurching speed we had. Which I was fine with the slow item ducks myself, but... Might as well go fast. Yeah, look at that. Everything's shooting through. Nice. How's our activators? Wow. Everything's staying really nice and full now with these impulses. It's out of the soul send. Because I still honestly don't think two plots is enough. I think if I wanted to keep up with the soul send, I'd need three or four plots. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot better. These impulse ducks are worth it. So let's get some, um... Let's get some grout together. I don't need three stacks. Um, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make a lot of grout really quick. And let me get this crafted up and we're gonna make another smeltery and redesign how this system sorts its items. Oh, and one thing I'm going to wait for, I'm going to do while I'm waiting for my grout to cook, is I'm going to make sure I have all the sand, gravel, cobble, soul sand, um, maybe that's one word, let's just check. I don't think it would be, nope. Soul sand, gravel, cobble, uh, dust, any dust in there? Nope, good. Because I do want to hook these up to ME now. So I'm just making sure I have everything out of the system so it will prioritize these barrels all the time. And let's get ME storage buses hooked into these while we're waiting for grout. So soul sound. Anything else in that other barrel? Clay? Yep, left clay hooked up. That one's empty. So I'm just going to set these up and run an ME cable and I'm going to keep cooking that grout. Alright, and there's one thing I do have to prepare for here, and that's uh, to get the liquid into the buckets again that I need. So I'm going to need gold, tin, nickel, and aluminum. And there's no way I could just, like, um, I, c I can't really grab this out of the filter anymore. It's in there. I don't think I could bucket out of the... No, you can't. So I need to get my fluids set up again. I need, what, one, two, three, four buckets of stuff. So, let me smelt up some of this. I'm not even sure how much I'll need. I'll just combine it. Make some blocks, and we'll see how much we need, because we could just pour the rest out ourselves. Yeah, let me just grab some of this up, and we'll get ready to lay down our second smeltery. Alright, and our second smeltery is pretty well good to go now. I just connected the lava, and the item ducts are going to come up to here with the other barrels. And this line is the one that carries the ores to the barrels. So what I'm going to do is just have them come down like so. Simple enough. Nothing crazy. Nothing wild. Um, actually, yeah, I kind of do have to have it come down like so. Because I'm going to need four barrels here, so yeah. It's going to be pretty simple. Pretty simple. One, two, three, four. Those will be whitelisted on there. Actually, I need chests now. I can't forget about that. I need to uh, upgrade these barrels to chests. So it's not really going to be a hard redesign. And here I'll need my four servos. One, two, three, four. But yeah, smeltery is good to go. It's just directly under the other one. I got all this stuff in the way too. I'm not worried about it. It just needs to smelt stuff. That's all I care about. Oh, I can't go up that one. Um, I need to get some chests because let's see. I need four down below. And how many more? I think six more. One, two, three, four, five. Five more. So nine altogether. Nine different ores. So I think I'm just gonna go with. I don't know. Why not iron chests? Yeah, we're just gonna go with iron chests. Make me nine chests. And we'll turn them to iron chests. Perfect. And also pass me a dolly. Mm 
Yeah. Let's go downstairs and start setting these up. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna need four more servos, actually. I don't need servos there, I could just use levers too, but servos are easier. I don't need levers on them, these are just going to be flowing all the time. And just set them all to low. Because now that we separated the smelteries, we don't have to worry about any kind of alloys forming. But I'll just pump into here and then pump out. And I did save. I did save some um, some ores in the chest for a very specific reason. For this kind of purpose now. So let me just dolly this over there. Oh, you walk slow with the dolly. Sprinting and jumping is almost normal speed. Okay, so here's our chest full of different ores, and what do we need here? Um, ooh, I forget already. Aluminum, I know I need. Uh, nickel, I know I need. So let's see, gold, tin, nickel, aluminum. And we're just going to whitelist each of those chests to have their own specific type. And that'll be that. Gold, and you want all three on a whitelist. So we're gonna whitelist this for gold, broken, crushed, and pulverized. I'm gonna repeat the process. So now that this guy's whitelisted, I need to go steal my. <clears throat> Let me up, please. Oh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I need to go steal my basins and activators up here. So I'm probably going to have to rearrange this a bit, but I'll worry about it later. You know, I could just leave these here. I'll just leave them there. We'll go make more. I made so much grout. I made an absolutely stupid amount of grout. Um, seared. Brick. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four basins. Four activators. Um, item duct. I have... Good. It's my fourth one, what are you stuck on? He might be making glass. Looks like he's making glass. There he is. Let me just request, since I have that sand now hooked up permanently, just give me some glass in the stockpile. Those impulse ducks are doing a really good job. Okay, so here's our tank just like before. Oh, I guess I do need a lever. I don't have any cobble on me. Bugger. And the fluid duct line will come out like so, just like before. And we only need four tank or four basins. Need more servos though. Ay ay ay. My mind is so scattered sometimes. Servo. Anything else I need while I'm here? I'm gonna need servos to whitelist and servos to pull out. And a simple lever. Definitely need a couple more. Cause I'm gonna need eight. It's stuck on something. It's waiting for glass. You have glass now. Should be able to make my servos. Sometimes it gets stuck. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that with uh, applied energistics, but sometimes it just gets stuck and you have to reset the craft. Okay, so there's my two hickeys ready to go. There's my basins. You're on output. I'm just going to stick with the simple lever because I like it. And let's whitelist this now. 
for whitelist gold, whitelist nickel, whitelist aluminum, and tin. Perfect. Now we need to go set up the underside, which will be with activators again. Oops. Face up. I have to set these all to output. Can I do it without building a bridge up there? Looks like it. Now I want to connect to this to my other chest, which is right there. You know what I can do is just connect these item duct lines. Yeah. Easier and less hassle than running a big ME cable down. So we'll just connect these guys up. And now they should all pull to that chest, which will then pull to my network. And we are done with that setup. One last thing, and then we're done with our smelters. We'll be auto-smelting all the ores all the time. Well, two last things. I need to, um... I need to pull these out. throw them anywhere for the time being. Because these do have servos whitelisted on them too, so they'll try and flow there. And we don't want them to flow there. So I gotta rearrange this a bit and clean up this line because I can compact it a lot more and I want to replace it with chests. So let's do that now. And I don't think it'll be any kind of a problem either. Is there a way I can get in there without wrecking everything? Probably not. Well, this is our input, so that should be the whitelist. These are already set up. Already set up with all three. Good. I'll do them one at a time, just in case I lose where they are. Good. That's all set up now. Yeah, I know. It looks like a mess. I gotta come here and clean it up later. Uh, we'll come clean it up later. Right now, I don't care. I'll just get on with it. Yeah, that can all sit there. Just get on with what we're doing. And got cast. Actually, I will need these item ducks. Uh, no reason to use impulse. I don't care about it being fast to the smeltery. It'll do its job sooner or later. Give me like six more servos. And a trash can. And a stone. Smooth stone. Should be right here. Whoops. Craft me up a few stacks of that. Ah, uh, smooth stone will come by. We'll get a chest going too. There we go. Let's put this ingot cast back. Now it's time to deal with this mess we have down here. This absolute mess of stuff we have going down here. So how am I going to sort this out? Well, first and foremost, I can connect this line right now, this line I had, because it will just pull all of the ores straight there. Which is exactly what I want anyways. So the ores will all flow to my Tinker Town and get smelted up, pulled into the network automatically. No worries there. And then we'll make these all red just so all the other junk flows there. And the ores will flow to Tinker Town. 
Anything new that arrives should be flown to Tinkertown. Good. So there's my ores going to get all smashed up and smelted down. Now I have to deal with the trash. Um, because I do want another chest to import into the ME network for all the excess trash, and I, I kind of, I think well, how I'm gonna have to do this is. have just an item duct set up to a trash can kind of the same way I did the mob farm so I'll have a trash can item duct uh, trash can disappeared that's okay we can kind of show what we're doing we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the mob farm our trash can will I want this one higher And here's a trash can right in the middle, so we can have four servos whitelisted for whatever we want a trash can. And the rest we can flow into one of these chests we'll just put right here with a basic import straight into the network. And I think with this much junk, we are definitely going to have to upgrade our ME drives. Definitely. Because we're non-stop producing junk. And I don't, I, I honestly don't see much I'd want a trash can. Like, I've looked through here. These mushrooms are kind of neat. I don't think I want to trash can them. Just because they're kind of neat in their own way. Can't really place one here. Mushrooms are kind of neat. I do want to trash can, um, gunpowder, flint, these seeds all trash can, the fruit, don't need it. Cocoa beans, definitely trash can, all this stuff. Bone meal, I could trash can bone meal. Well, it'll go flow to that barrel near the mob farm and just get voided, so. That's already, excuse me, that's already getting trash canned. Coal, I gotta do something with coal. I might set up a cyclic assembler on the ME line and just have it all compressed to blocks. I think I'll probably do that. Nether wart. It's always okay to have some nether wart around. Cocoa beans, more of that. More cactus seeds. Yeah, I think I pretty well found all, everything I want to can. Which isn't that much. It's much. I thought I'd want to can more. Thorn vines, trash that. I really thought there would be more I'd want to junk. There's my trash can. Gas, tears, bone meal. Yeah. I guess I got everything I want to trash. Alright, so let's trash can. Just set these to output. Otherwise, we're going to get a lot of junk flown in here. Two, three, four... And we have enough for one servo. Whitelist, thorn vines, gunpowder, spores, cocoa seeds, fruit, cactus seeds, and flint. That's all getting dumped. So now we could just disconnect these until we need them. And you are ready for input. So that'll get trashed now. Great. And let me steal this chest. My hopper stole it. Give me. Got it just in time. This chest will be kind of our catch all, and I'm going to get a basic import and hook it up to that line right there. So let me go craft that up really quick. Good, I already had one. Do I have enough ME cables? Is the question. Probably. Give me cables. Now this should grab all of this kind of crap and just throw it straight in. Why is gunpowder arriving there? Gunpowder should definitely not be arriving there. It 
it's trying to go to the chest before the trash can. If I gave it a little bit more distance by just simple default of how item ducks work, it'll go to the trash can first. So don't exactly want to set the trash can to be a green on this line. Even though it's whitelisted, so I guess I could. So in theory, this should be perfectly fine now. If not, then I could set the trash can to be a vacuum. Which would also be fine. But, this works. This works. Great. So now these chests are pretty well all obsolete. What I think I'm gonna do is just... I think I'm just gonna output them all. Yeah. I'm just gonna shoot them right back into the same pipe they have came from, and the ores will go to Tinkertown, and the other crap will go to the system. I think I'm gonna have some full drives really soon. I think we're going to have some real full drives really soon. Servos, and we'll just start shooting this right back into the same pipe it came from. I really thought I'd have more junk that I'd want to get rid of. Set them all to low. And out you go. Now it should, in theory, find a home for itself. Um, all the stuff we whitelisted will get junked, all the stuff we want imported will arrive, and all the ores will go to Tinkertown now and get smelted. Oh, I need you starting to output molten gold. Good. Smeltery is smelting. Tin, nickel, and aluminum. And gold was just in there, so that's all working great. No worries here. We're now auto-producing this. That should go into that chest and also be imported. Let me run this back into this little hiding spot. Great. I think we took care of... Uh, I think I called the last video Sieve 2.0, Automated Sieve 2.0, something like that. I wouldn't exactly classify this as an Uber Sieve, but it's it's a pretty sweet Sieve setup, in my opinion. I'm pretty happy with how this is. It's doing a really good job. It's mashing all the things. I could have one more for dirt. I mean, why not? We could have one sieving dirt full time. We could add that on. I could expand this uh, spore, um, my soul sand production, just to have soul sand in the barrel being automatically produced. Yeah, I think that's something we could expand on. Could definitely have more soul sand and a dirt sieve, just to see what we get out of it for fun. I mean, we sieved a lot of dirt early game, but why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all this mess I made here, reorganize this line, compact it. And yeah, I think we're good. The auto sieve is now importing into the network, perfectly fine. And all of this junk should be out of the chest, almost, finding a home in the network. So yeah, I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the sieve setup too. I think it's quite fun myself. Everything is going nicely. Until next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you then.